for the first time in the 2024 YouTube season. Let me say it. Here we are, Citizens Bank Park, home of the Philadelphia Phillies. Today is a great day because I come home to Citizens Bank Park. Me and Todd are going to be taking a stadium tour of Citizens Bank Park. I can never film inside the bathrooms during uh, baseball season because the bath they're, you know, they're being used. But check out the cool wallpaper. This is the old veteran stadium, stadium the Phillies played at before they played at Citizens Bank Park. And if you see, the men's room has Phil and the women's room have Phyllis. And they, they were the old mascots of the Phillies. There's a picture of Phil and Phyllis together. It's a pretty cool wall of like old Phillies logos. The 100 year anniversary Phillies logo. Looks like a Sixers logo, but that's the Phillies logo from 1976. The final season of Veteran Stadium. And there's just a random picture of Rocky Balboa. At the left field entrance, you will find two replicas of the World Series trophies and the Phillies Wall of Fame. Above the Phillies Wall of Fame, you will find all the pennant and championship banners the team has won. Phillies Wall of Fame features players like Richie Ashburn, Mike Schmidt, John Cruck. It also includes broadcaster Harry Callis and relief pitcher Tug McGraw. There's Johnny Callison and Greg the Bull Lezinski. Greg has a barbecue stand right next to the Wall of Fame. Fantastic food. And Gre Greg is next to the barbecue stand every game. To take pictures and sign autographs. Look how happy my grandson was to meet him. You are looking at a statue of Phillies broadcaster Harry Callis. Harry started with the Phillies in the early 70s. And his last season with the Phillies was 2009. When the Phillies win a game, the team plays Harry Callis singing High Hopes. <laughs> <laughs> if you look right up here on the wall, you can see it says the Fighting Phils. If you go on YouTube, you actually hear some rubber string bands playing it and singing it. Statue. Can you guys tell what arm that pitcher's throwing with? His left arm. His left arm. Very That's good, Todd. That is lefty. That is Steve Carlton, Hall of Famer, Philly. And this is Ashburn Alley. It's a place where you can get pizza, crab fries, beers, chicken wings, and you can see the inflatable mascots. impression of the Houston Astros. Uh oh. I want to tell you that in 2026, okay, two years from now, this ballpark is going to host the All-Star Game. This is where I make my favorite memories, right here, Todd. Right. So, you no, know, Phillies fans are very passionate, and when they're up here, maybe they can wild the other team's pitchers before they get into the game. Now, please remember, as Phillies fans, please do it in a sporting manner. Your worst nightmare! I am here to torture you for nine innings! Well, not maybe half an inning? No, a little bit more? I'm done. Am I done? 
Right. You stink like don't like you. Right here, Dodd Section 301. Oh. Best section in the stadium. What goes on there? I hear. Rumors. I hear. Yeah. They say it's always fun in 301. Uh, the media. Oh, really? It's always fun in 301. Yo, Oscar, what are we doing? What's going on, cuz? Good. By the way, check out my merch. My merch. Woo! It's fire. This is the Hall of Fame Club. It's a luxury seating experience. Baseballs you think could possibly be here. Well, if you come up here and you look down, this is the, the first base side, you'll see a lot of them. There are approximately 16,192 baseballs. At least that's what I've been told. The walls are lined with baseballs. Underneath the bars are bats, home plates, and pitching rubbers. This room is the technology area that controls the Fanavision and all the TV screens and everything that you will see, okay? Um, so anything you see will come through here. Um, during the season, once again, a lot of activity that's going on here for a game, even uh, when the Phillies are away, always getting things ready for, you know, for the display. Dan Baker has been the longtime public address announcer of the Philadelphia Phillies. He's been doing it for over 50 years. Years. Now, press box. This is where the media gets to watch the game. So come on in. Let's go. If you guys want to stay right up here, mm -hmm. um, let me show you this first thing right here. Um, many of you probably know that this past year, Major League uh, Baseball instituted a pitch clock. Okay, in between uh, pitches and innings and stuff like that. That's done right up here. Okay, it's done by a Major League Baseball employee. Okay? All right, come on down. We'll move down. Oh, I, can, I can smell Howard Eskin. <laughs> All right? A kid. Yeah. Smells like cheap cologne and fur. You guys are more than welcome to take a seat here. We, we have a few minutes where we can... All right, so this is the press box area. So this is the where, area where the press get to watch the game. Now, in order to get here, in here, you have to have credentials. Okay. I'm now going to take you into the Harry Callis broadcast booth. Yes, this broadcast booth was named after Harry Callis. We saw his statue out towards left field. You notice on here his famous slogan, that ball's out of here. Those of you who grew up a Phillies fan probably have that, that voice in your mind. I can tell you, I probably would not have known Mike Schmidt's middle name if it wasn't for Harry Cap. Oh, wow. Wow, it's so nothing. <laughs> well, it is right now because yeah. in the office. <laughs> um, Tom McCarthy, who is our play-by-play -play announcer, he usually sits right here. Then next to him is typically John Crook, okay? But there could be other people who are here as well, maybe Ben Davis or Ruben Amaro Jr. Uh, and I can also tell you that on Sunday broadcasts uh, during the season, we also have a third person who's usually here, and that's Mike Schmidt, who we just talked about, camera. So when you see them talking, the camera's right there, there's usually lights up here, and you can see the silhouette of um, the field and also the city behind these signs. These signs are moved, and they're put right in front of these drapes and over here on the wall, so it kind of looks like a little TV studio, okay? This mount right here also has an arm that extends out that has a camera on it. So when you see the announcers here, when you see McCarthy and Schmidt and Kroc and et cetera, when they're sitting here, it's just uh, an, a camera that's on a little arm here. You know, during the, the beginning of the season, you know, Let's he struggled a little bit. But then Phillies fans got together, I guess it was end of July, maybe early August, and someone said, you know what? Next time that Trey Turner's up at bat in a homestand, Let's give him a standing ovation, tell him as Phillies fans, we're behind him 100%. And that actually did happen. You know who the man who did that was? Right here. What's it, you, really? Yeah, yeah, what's up? <laughs> Last night, I was sitting in my car, and I made a little video for Instagram. Let's not boo Trey Turner this weekend. Let's give him a standing ovation every time he comes to bat this weekend. My boy is in his head, 
and he needs some love. Not tough love, not right now. He needs love love. That video got a lot of traction, so much that the New York Post wrote an article. Well, I'll tell you what, you made a big influence not only on him, but the team. Because after that game, this place went wild. And Trey Turner, his season just changed dramatically. And when that happened, he actually attributed it to you and the Phillies fans, the fans. for doing that. Um, and it turned it around and helped us uh, gain momentum that got us into the playoffs. So thank you for what you did. Well, that's, uh, thank you for Trey Turner, right? Yeah. Let's thank him. Yeah, that's, yeah. Well, what, a, what, what a great example of how great our fans are. Let's go. Okay? All right. There he is, Richie. Okay, so this is our radio broadcast booth, and this is named in honor of Richie Ashburn. We saw his statue out in center field. We went through Ashburn Alley, longtime player for the Phillies, and also broadcaster. So come on in with me. Let's take a look at this room. Oh, wow. Now, usually in here, Scott Fransky will be here. He's our play-by-play -play, um, radio announcer. Um, he could be in here with uh, Kevin Stocker, uh, or Larry Anderson. What a, what a view. This is where the Phillies radio That's broadcast happened. Now, the Phillies have a okay. radio. Well, it's very rare to have a no-hitter in baseball. Well, it actually happened here back in 2010. Roy Halladay, who was the pitcher for the Phillies, did that. He pitched a no-hitter. And afterwards, the Phillies asked him to go to a skull. See here, there's some pictures. They actually did an imprint of his hand in wax and created this handprint. So that's actually a replica of really of Roy Halladay's actual hand. For uh, uh, MLB, um, most, uh, most valuable players, even some of our Cy Young awards. Um, so when you were asking earlier about Steve Carlton signing the balls, like that's his Cy Young award that's right there. Oh, that's cool. So, Where's the elite trophy? I don't know. Okay, so if you wanna take a picture, you're more than welcome to. Look at this, this is just a few months old. Like full of mediocre Cy Youngs in here. I mean, John Denny, Steve Bedrock, but we go. Oh, Bedrock was awesome that year. <laughs> Bedrock was so. This one is. The tour is worth it just for the press box, for me. Yeah. That, that I, I, really, I loved seeing the press box. That's been, I, I did a college tour here uh, back in the day when I was in school many, many moons ago. And they would come to this room right here. This is the Phillies media room. This is where Ron... Uh, smells like mediocrity in here. It's all the sports weather. Wow. Now, typically during the season, this entire room is set up with chairs, okay? And uh, so Rob Thompson will come in there, he'll sit down, and he'll field questions from reporters. Generally, someone from uh, the Phillies organization will be up here to kind of lead the press conference so that it's not chaotic. Uh, no, I go right in the middle. You go right in the middle. Right in the middle there. there you go. No, Howard Eskin. I'm not answering your question, <laughs> and you're wearing too much cologne. All right, Mr. Ca good? Mr. Captain, I have a, I have a question no for questions, you. No questions, Todd. I don't even know why I sat down. Of course, Todd. you wrap Dad, you do it. You do it. No, I don't want to. You know what? Do it. Right, Come on. That's where they announced Real. They died. All right. <laughs> All right. Uh, unfortunately, I have to announce that we've made a trade. Um, Nick Castellanos. So we're trading him for Shohei Otani. And that's uh, that's official. Let's talk. Okay, good yeah. job, Todd. Yeah. Yeah. Sure? Yeah. Wow, nobody else is playing make believe, Todd. Just us. All right, <laughs> just us. All right. Have you guys noticed pictures all throughout the ballpark as you've gone through? I don't know if you noticed it or not. One that's other thing friend. I wanted that's to explain to you. I don't you know, know. you notice, but this is the coolest thing that you could do for us. And I, I, I'm sure everybody's thanked you a thousand times. Yeah, but we bless it. But you don't need to do that. Yeah. This is, I'm, thank, I'm really thanking you for being fair. No, it's George Steinbrenner stinks and you're the best. <laughs> <laughs> Does anyone happen to know who would happen to live up 
up in one of these rooms. Probably the fanatic. The Philly fanatic lives in the scoreboard. Actually, somebody did live in the vet. Though. I thought that's where you were going for. I did hear that, yeah. and he wrote a book or something yeah. about yeah. it. He yeah. Lived, yeah, yeah, he had like a luxury apartment in like a room that was never used. I, yeah. I heard that. He lived somewhere on the concourse. Yeah, it wasn't up there. It no, was like no. Center Philly, yeah. All right, folks, let, let's move down because we need to find a little bit more about the Philly fanatic. Let's go. We're gonna actually see where he lives. Oh, come on, Todd. This is a picture from 2008, the World Series. You know, just look at this picture. You can see how much larger the new fan division is because it takes up that entire um, area. All year, um, I can tell you that, um, like right now, he's probably not in here because during a weekday like this, a lot of times he goes visit schools. Um, the Fanatic has a reading program for children, and. Uh, it basically it, what you have to do is you have to read like you know a certain this area that's right next to it this is an area where his friends and family will stay when they come here okay um you know the concessions here is that where phoebe lives too <laughs> phoebe when she'll live next door she lives comes. next door yes. when phoebe comes okay yes what about the fanatic's dad if we figured out what yeah where, where, where is the fanatic's dad can just, we answer that question we when never like i said we don't really know much about the fanatic, yeah, there is. You know? well there's only two fanatic costumes so they can't have a mom in there you go there you go your philly yeah. fanatic's family that's where mom fanatic phoebe. lives I, i'm not exactly really? sure what they're talking about Phoebe Got fanatic? <laughs> yeah, don't say costumes, Todd. Disrespectful. Well, Respect right, the mascot. Costume is just the Home plate, 114 feet in this direction, Todd. Oh. Okay. You just watch this right here. If you want to step up, go ahead and over, and you can check out the dugout. Just be careful. Watch your step here, folks. Oh, this is the visitor's dugout. I don't want to be in here. Boo! Right, Todd? Absolutely. Yeah, garbage. the dirty Mets Oh, look. Want to see me? I'll do my Astros impression, Todd. Ready? Here we go. Hey, I'm the Houston Astros. Uh, That's actually the recycling. This is the trash can. So. I'm sorry. Okay. So now you're in the visitor's dugout, but I can tell you that the Phillies dugout on the other side is the exact same thing. Okay? There's no differences. Okay? Um, you'll see over here on the wall there are three phones. The first one right here that goes to the press box. We were up there earlier to announce the changes in the lineup. The second one, if the Phillies or the, the visitors want to challenge a replay, they can do that. Notice this one. This one opens to the left. The other two open to the right. This goes to the bullpen. So the bullpen, which is out in center field there. And if you heard on the video when we started, they said it was an intimate ballpark. When you come up here, you can you can literally hear how the voices and how the sound kind of is amplified here. So a crowd of 40,000 people here could sound like 60,000, okay? So typically uh, the seating in the ballpark is about 42,000, um, give or take. Um, also, we can have standing room only of about two to 3,000 people. So Yo, Oscar, what are we doing? <laughs> Look at all that extra room you have up there just for doing whatever the hell you want to do. He's not, he's not here yet. Oscar's not here yet? No, he's not here. I'll help you. He'll show up right at the end. <laughs> yeah. All right, look at this. Whatever you like. And it comes all to the blue ticket. Okay? A lot of organizations uh, have other, other organizations which can help. Okay? I'm going to, remember how we talked about how you could hear something amplified? I'm going to ask you to do something with me, okay? okay. Okay. Are you ready? Yep. One, Let's two, go three. Let's, Let's go, go Phils! <laughs> Isn't that right? Neat? Can you hear that? So just imagine having 40 some thousand people in here and it's really electrifying. Yeah. Four, baby! Let's go, Phillies! Yeah! Oh. This crowd's shacked. Here, Todd, turn around, let's take a picture. One, two, three. When they film stores close, so we're, we're yeah. not we're not gonna see Luke today. No, oh, Luke's, oh, Luke would be there otherwise. It's not there. Uh, Usually right in this. There it is, we're going back in the passing stow. Named after the guys who fixed the Liberty Bell. That is correct. That is correct, huh? A little history for you. Yeah. You are correct. Thank you, sir, thank you. Let's go Phillies, right? We're back to the greatest photo of all time. Hey, you think this is the greatest photo of all time? One of the greatest photos of all time. Let's go. I actually emailed the general email the Phillies. I'm like, where is this photo? Where can I get it? Where can I? Why don't you it? just take a picture of the picture and just? Make it's it. not the. It's not the same. It's not okay. the same. I want to thank you for joining us 
for our little tour of Citizens Bank Park. Uh, shout out to our tour guide, super nice guy, and his daughter is a ball girl. And don't forget to hit subscribe because baseball season's coming. And we're going to be hunting for a red October. Yeah.